Using an ice box. Example 1. Calculating the value of the equilibrium constant KEQ. One point zero zero moles each of ammonia gas and oxygen gas are mixed in a rigid five point zero zero liter container and allowed to react at one hundred and twenty degrees Celsius to form water vapor and dinitrogen tetroxide gas according to the equation four NH three gas plus seven O two gas in equilibrium with two N two O four gas plus six H2O gas. When equilibrium is reached at 120 degrees Celsius, the concentration of the N2O4 is found to be 0 0.030 molar. Determine the equilibrium constant for the reaction at 120 degrees Celsius. Since we want to find the equilibrium constant, which depends on the equilibrium concentrations, and we are given mostly information about the initial concentrations, then we need to use the icebox. We begin the icebox setup with the reaction. 4 NH3 gas plus 7 O2 gas in equilibrium with 2 N2O4 gas plus 6 H2O gas. So we have our three rows and five columns. The problem says we start with 1.00 moles of ammonia gas and 1.00 moles of oxygen gas in a 5.00 liter container. So the initial concentrations of NH3 and O2 are each 1.00 moles divided by 5.00 liters which equals 0 0.200 molar. We start with no N2O4 and no H2O so their initial concentrations are each 0. The first row of the icebox becomes 0 0.200 molar for each of NH3 and O2 and 0 molar for each of N2O4 and H2O. We have the balanced equation and since we have reactants present but no products, the concentrations of the reactants will decrease and the concentrations of the products will increase. So the changes are NH3 decreases by 4x, O2 decreases by 7x, N2O4 increases by 2x, and H2O increases by 6x. So the second row of the icebox becomes minus 4x for NH3, minus 7x for O2, plus 2x for N2O4, and plus 6x for H2O. We can now fill in the third row of the table. The equilibrium concentrations will be NH3 0 0.200 minus 4x, O2 0 0.200 minus 7x, N2O4, 2x, H2O, 6x. So the third row of the table becomes point two zero zero minus 4x for NH3, point two zero zero minus 7x for O2, 2x for N2O4, and 6x for H2O. We are given the equilibrium concentration of N2O4 
as a final piece of information. The equilibrium concentration of N2O4 is found to be 0 0.030 molar. This allows us to figure out the value of X and the equilibrium concentrations. Since 2X equals 0 0.030 molar, X equals 0 0.015 molar. So the equilibrium concentrations become NH3, 0 0.140 molar, O2, 0 0.095 molar, N2O4, 0 0.030 molar, of course, and H2O, 0 0.090 molar. And our final form for the icebox shows the actual concentrations of each of the substances at equilibrium. To determine the value of K, we need to substitute the values in row 3 into the equilibrium expression. The equilibrium expression is K equals the concentration of N2O4 squared times the concentration of H2O to the sixth power divided by the concentration of NH3 to the fourth power multiplied by the concentration of O2 to the seventh power. Substituting the values in row 3 into the expression, we get 0 0.030 squared times 0 0.090 to the 6th power divided by 0 0.140 to the 4th power multiplied by 0 0.095 to the 7th power. Solving for K, we get the expression with the concentrations raised to their powers, which we can solve to find the value 17.825. The answer is K equals 18, because the answer is only good to two sig figs, since three of the values we used in the calculation are only good to two sig figs.